Hello, hello, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step from scratch. We also teach general IT techniques and skills on this channel. Remember, you need to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new video. In this particular lesson, I'm going to show you three PowerPoint techniques that you don't want to miss. Okay, so without much ado, let's jump straight into action. I'm going to show you a unique way in which you can add bulletin within PowerPoint where you don't need to use the default bulletins. Well, I'll go to my presentation. I'll right click and go to new. I want to add new presentation. So within this part of the presentation, I want to then I'll add my own text. So I can easily create my point by clicking. I'm going to add some points. Then I can apply my bulletin to it, my unique bulletin format. Okay, so I'm going to say my first point is what network. Okay, let's say networking techniques. Okay, then our next point, let's say our next point is digital, digital marketing for let's say beginners. Okay, and then the last one, let's say web application development okay okay i think this is a good enough so we are going to use you notice within microsoft powerpoint we can easily apply bulletin to this by going to the home tab click on bulletin and then we can use any of the bulletin option but in this case i'm not going to use any of those options available just by clicking on my text box you notice we have within the paragraph tab we have what's called convert to what smart art with the smart art we are not going to we are going to use bulletin to a unique bulletin option available within the smart art. When I click over here, I start pointing my cursor over the shapes available. Notice it's already creating some unique bulletin options for me. But I don't want to use any of this. I want to go to what more smart art graphics. When I click over here, I'll go under list and then I'll pick something better from here. Okay, so when I pick this and I click on what, okay, you notice it has converted everything to a nice looking what bulletin for me remember this is grouped together if i want to change the background colors of this i can easily click right click and go to what group and then ungroup this so after ungroup after doing the ungrouping i can easily select them one by one going to format and then other fill color can start changing the colors one by one as simple as that so now this is a unique way in which you can add bulletin you can decide to add numbers here label this add one here two in that order it's also a unique way in which you can apply bulletin to your presentation so this is a unique way in which you don't need to use any of the default bulletin option in what microsoft word okay the next point is screen recording let me create a new slide over here right click at the left and then go to new slide so over here i will show you a unique way in which you can do your screen recording okay so under this option within tab you notice under media we have our screen recording so when i click on screen recording notice what is going to happen i can record any part of my screen by dragging so when i select the area okay so when i click select the area and i go to record i can easily record so when i press windows shift plus q i can easily end my recording okay So you notice my recording is still showing up here it's going on so if i press windows key plus windows shift plus the q key it will stop my recording for me okay so let's say i'm done with my recording i want to embed it into my presentation i have to press the windows shift and the q key on my keyboard so you notice what is happening my presentation has actually been embedded into my presentation my screen recording sorry my screen recording has actually been inserted directly into what my presenters i can play from from this option so you notice what is happening i'm able to add this particular screen recording to okay so this is a unique way in which you can add screen recording recording screen and then add it to what your presentation and the last point is how to make shapes okay well i'll create another slide purposely for that when i go to my left and i click on new slide within this side we have shapes when i go to the set tab i can go to shapes option 
is how the last point is how to make shapes so i'm going to my right my left side of my pre my my presentation and right click go to new over here i'm going to add my first shape so i'll go to what insert and then select a shape from there so i'll select a shape let me say i want a circular shape holding a shift will give you a perfect shape so okay if i get this shape let me add my last shape and i'm going to merge them together so let me say i want something triangle this way and i'll also draw this shape so let me position it over this okay so i'm going to merge these two shapes together i can hold down control and select them together so notice within the format that we have mesh shapes so i can easily go if i want to unite these shapes i can if i say combined or combine if i say want some fragments that's set i can do that and then we can subtract one from the other so you notice what is happening so if i do the intersection where the two shapes intersected i was able to get that out of the two shapes okay that is a unique way in which you can create a shape out of another shape so let me go once more let me just add two more shapes and then let's see what we can do so if i draw this i can pick in another shape draw over this like this okay i can select these two shapes like this and then using the same image option see what is happening i can subtract that one from this i can also intercept create a fragment and combine this and also create a union so union means i want the two shapes to Combine and form one shift. And turn on the notification bell in order to get updates when anytime we upload our new videos. Bye bye.